uh, missing person reports that we have received, uh, our investigators have been able to uh, um, identify uh, 70 uh, people who uh, have been uh, reunited with their friends or family. So we were able to go through shelters and identify people's, uh, people and ultimately get those folks uh, uh, accounted for. Um, the more difficult task and uh, the one that um, I have the rather unfortunate uh, duty to talk about is our efforts to uh, recover uh, fatalities, people who died or perished as a result of the fire. Uh, we have been working very diligently to go through uh, the affected areas and locate uh, those deceased individuals. And unfortunately, uh, to date, uh, we have recovered 23 bodies. We are working uh, with teams of coroners, uh, investigators, uh, both my office as well as uh, coroners investigators from throughout the state have come in to help us. Uh, we're going to locations where uh, we have been told that there is potentially uh, human remains. When we identify that there are, uh, those remains are um, recovered. And our process at this point will be to send all of those remains to the Sacramento County uh, Morgue. We're being assisted by the Sacramento County uh, Coroner in terms of uh, helping us uh, determine uh, what the cause of origin or what the cause of death is. But more importantly, I think to many of you, uh, uh, they will work with us to help identify those individuals. Once we're able to identify those individuals, we'll make notification to the next of kin, and then we'll return those bodies to their families. Unfortunately, uh, our work in this area isn't done, and we have brought in, we'll be bringing in another team tomorrow. We're also going to be uh, bringing in, or we'll be aided by the California Department of Justice's DNA lab truck. We're going to be setting up a process for family members uh, who have reported loved, one missing, loved ones missing or loved ones or who believe a loved one uh, may have perished in the fire. Uh, they will be able to provide a DNA sample, and then that DNA sample will be used uh, to help us identify uh, human remains uh, if we're not able to identify them in some other manner. We are going to continue this process, and I hope that you will uh, be patient and understand. First and foremost, uh, we recognize um, how important it is for you to know or learn the fate of loved ones who are missing. But we also uh, want to make sure that we are uh, able to get into locations uh, and do so safely. Many of these areas are still, uh, there's still active fire, uh, there are still hazards, and so it may take us time to be able to get in there. But we also want to preserve the dignity of uh, these uh, people who perished in the fire and then get their remains back.